What's up, nerds? All right, so um, I'm doing something a little different today. Um, you know, like I try to do this every once in a while. Uh, anyway, so uh, I actually managed to get a hold of uh, some packs of uh, counterfeit uh, Pokemon trading cards. Um, I've seen some packs being opened up online. Usually they actually look like real booster packs, though. But anyways, um, I found these on Wish.com. Uh, they weren't too expensive. I think they were, I think a total of $3 each because they charge shipping for each item. But I don't think I paid that. I think I ended up only paying like three eighty because of some weird discount thing that came up for both of these. But anyway, so um, as some of you might know, anything that's popular, anything that sells, of course, there's going to be a cheap Chinese knockoff. And even when I did, you know, when Base Set was just out, when I was a kid back in 1999, um, you know, stuff like this existed. I remember one day coming home, my mom said she went and got us some uh, Pokemon cards, and she gave us, and they came in these little boxes. And we're like, well, don't they always come in the full wrappers? And I noticed that they were really small. They were like half the size of the regular cards. And um, like the pictures, you know, the quality wasn't very good. In the back, the, the set of the cards being like blue like they normally are on me. Let me see, do I go? Yeah, hold on. Here, I just grabbed a stack of these out of my little tin over there. You know, you kind of got the blue backing over there, but they didn't. They were like kind of purple, a little off colored. And some of them were stickers, so you know, it was a little bad. And I remember my mom telling me that when she went to the store, the uh, guy told her, like, oh, we have two different kinds, and, you know, she got the one she got, and then other ones that were, like, in Ziploc bags, so, you know, which was pretty terrible, but, um, I wasn't too upset, I just took them to school and, like, sold them for, like, a quarter each, and used my profits to buy a proper booster pack, so, you know, because I was, that was how I was, but, anyway, so, these ones are Fates Collide, this is the newest set I can find, uh, counterfeit packs for, uh, I didn't see any Steam Siege, note that, um, these are actually Pokemon Go Fates Collide Pack. So, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure that that's the, uh, a limited edition thing that uh, they were branded for Pokemon Go, right, for uh, 2017, you know. So these are, like, maybe this is just pre-release. Maybe these aren't counterfeit. Maybe this is just some, you know, pre-release packs of some Fates Collide that's already out. But there's going to be a new one in 2017 that um, comes in these little boxes and uh, are shiny and branded Pokemon Go for... Marketing reasons, I'm guessing. Anyway, so the back. The back series. Uh, Reality shifts and is remade. Po Mega Alakazam EX sees the future and shapes it to unify two worlds. The legendary Pokemon Zygarde arrives in many different forms to, um... I uh, see, they kind of misspelled that. That's like, kind of like the French spelling, isn't it? Something like that? Alright. To bring order together with Lugia, Break, Mega Altaria... EX and Umbreon EX. Fates are sealed and two Pokemon worlds joined together in the Pokemon TCG XY Fates Collide expansion. Now, I think they basically took that and just kind of like typed it up directly from a real pack. So it's um, not bad in terms of, uh, like I've seen some really bad translations on these before. And Breakpoint, wait, hold on. The Pokemon TCG XY Breakpoint expansion. <laughs> oh, Christ. But they got the little thing that tells you how many cards there are. It's in the, um, it's for Breakpoint. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. So, yeah, and play online. That's a lie, Pokemon International. That's an even bigger lie. Uh, well, at least we know we can recycle this. And, uh, you know, the back's actually a little different, like you see on this one, because they put the energy cards, and they broke that up, and, like, I was reading it wrong, because I was trying to go down and down, but, no, it's, like, weird. don't know why they decided to do that. But, anyways, I'm legitimately curious. I don't think we'll have a real... Pokemon card on tie to kind of use as a comparison. Let's see, sometimes people will open, oh, well, there we go. There's no real trick card trick to these, so who knows. Maybe we'll get something good. Oh, you know, I'm, oh, what? Consistency, folks, consistency. Well, I don't even know which side to start from. Um, is that, a, is that a Whimsicott? Okay, yeah. Yeah, the quality on here is not so hot. Um, kind of dirty, too. I don't know, that might be. I got you. Awesome. Cat screeches, and I drop a card. One second. All right, so and I got a little bit of plastic dust on there um, on my, uh, my thing here because I've been working on models, too. So, But, I mean, I kind of like how they got the got the name kind of foiled down, like the regular full cards, like, like our uh, Gardevoir over here. They don't like that. That's kind of nice. But, um, alright, so I don't know, um, 
is that a foil card in the set? I don't know. And, uh, all right, so we got ourselves here a shuffle. Well, let's check the back out. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is not quality. Um, wow. Okay. Notice that we got, like, the regular hit points. Now some of these counterfeits that will have a, uh, kind of, like, insane hit points. Energy, and, oh, my God, these, oh, man, there's, like, a stack of freaking, uh, yeah, there's a break card. And I there's, like, a stack of EXs back there. Energy, and Lugia break. And, um, there's no, uh, there's no foiling to it. Uh, break cards are foil cards. And, well, that's terrible. That is terrible. Like, I can't even imagine. Like, some people were, like, reviewing this like they bought them for their kids. And, like, why would you do that? Why would you do that to your kids? I get they're cheaper, but, you know, I mean, if they go to school and they trade these things with, you know, to, you know, other kids and their parents get pissed. And the print quality on this one's actually not too bad. The Wormadam. Some of them kind of come out all right, but yeah, there's like a, the finish is wrong. Like, I, I'm having a hard time pulling them off. They're not, they don't have that kind of slick finish or some kind of a, kind of gritty to it. And Bronzor and uh, Delphox break. Wow. Man, if I had pulled all these from like a real pack, I'd be so excited. And of course, we got ourselves a Zygarde, which is a rare. Uh, let's see, and, oh, Christ, there's something coming up, Bronzong, see, I'd be so excited if this was something real, and, uh, Alakazam EX, and that is the secret rare in the set, but unfortunately, yeah, I mean, you can kind of see it works, they, they scanned it, you could see all the little, uh, the little texture marks in there, so, good going, and, uh, the cut is terrible, oh my god, like, yeah, like, they cut, they cut off all the sides on here, oh man. Uh, Riolu, Wismer, Almanite, Moltres, Braxen, and again, um, something that's not terrible, like it's a little off, but like you kind of look at the cuts wrong, but overall, like clarity isn't terrible, you know, not as bad as I thought, not completely off, just a little off, of course we got ourselves an Umbreon EX. I wonder if these are going to be you know, the same cards in the other pack. Oh, we got Aerodactyl. Sometimes that happens. Like, there's just, like, the same cards in every pack. Uh, Pupitar. Let's see. Vullaby. I need to get me more Fates Collides back. I should have a, um... Oh, Mega Altaria EX. I have a, um... Zygarde box coming up here real soon. I should be opening that. It'll probably be up sometime next week. I'm hopefully having this up Friday. So, if this is Friday and you're watching this, hooray, I did it on time. But yeah, so, you know, I wonder what the rarity on that is. 121 hours, it's just uh, ultra rare. All right. Energy, you know, a psychic energy. Sensino, Mr. Mime, oh my. And, of course, it's our wiggly tough over there. Oh, right, wow. So, I mean, we got one foil, one real foil. It's like, I wonder, they can do this foil, and the foil's not that bad. Like, it's not unattractive. I mean, we kind of got that little dark mark down there, but... Like, I don't know why they couldn't have foiled the other ones. That doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I guess, I don't know, it's cheaper. These are already cheap as it is. Let's see if we get anything different out of this one. If you wanted me to do any more packs of uh, counterfeit cards, I'll do that. I'll happily do that. Oh, man, do I want... Oh, oh it's already starting to look different. Let me see. Is that, did that leave anything in there? No. And take note, there is no code card. Like, I've actually seen them where they, like, print, like, the back of a code card, and it'll just be that Pokemon thing on the side. And, uh, okay, Dark Energy, and, um... Okay, let's, uh, let's just flip over this way. And, okay, here's our Holofoil, which is a Volibee. And it looks like they'll foil just about any card in the set, so, you know, you can get anything foil. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see. Okay, so this is different, so let's see if we get anything, uh... See if we get anything good. Let's see if we get another secret rare. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, Snivy, Servine, Burmy. Lar oh man, there's like the edges are cut so rough. Larvitar, Halucha, Wheeling, Gothita, Spoink, Finnegan, another Finnegan. The Duosion. Oh man. You know, are we not going to get any uh, EXs in this one? Maybe not. Sincino. Oh, man. Oh, there it is. There it is. And we got the Kingdra EX. So there we go. That's always um, always pleasant to get something like that, yeah? 
It's a dragon type, but mm, man, Lumistar, Kangaskhan, Lucario, which I believe is supposed to be a foil too, isn't it? And oh well, we got the Genesect EX right there, and uh, I actually have that card. It's sitting right over there. I'll that. Pull that over here in just a second. Genesect EX. Another Lucario and uh, Mancino. So we didn't get so many uh, EX cards. Like, you know, that's such a huge disappointment, right? Let's pull up our real Genesect EX right here. And uh, kind of compare the two. And you can kind of see. Yeah, I know I kind of got in the matte thing. But, you know, even through the matte, you can kind of see where the shininess is supposed to come through. And this is just... Bleh. Like, I don't know, it's weird. But, a little quality back. I mean, I don't know. It's not really worth anything. It was just kind of fun. Just kind of a quick, easy way to do something cool and different for you guys. Uh, that's a real card, so that's going to be weird. Anyway, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, let me know in the comment section below if you like this video. If you uh, want to see more um, counterfeit card unpacking. Hold on, one little check. Fresh cards always have a distinct scent to them. So let me see if they have that. Oh, yeah, they do. They have the new car smell. Okay, that's that's nice. But, um, you know, I mean, I mean, it needs to be fine to get if you want to just come down and, you know, go blam, ultra rare Volibay. You know, just <laughs> screw with your friends. And beyond that, another thing I can think of these would work for is to be used as proxy cards since um, it probably wouldn't be too terribly hard for you to... Uh, pick up here, uh, well, I don't know where that freaking secret rare Alakazam is, but, um, yeah, not too bad, not too bad, it's kind of up their, uh, counterfeiting game in recent years, so, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't, and I hope you nerds have a great day. Sup, nerds. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not. You may are free to click one of the links below to view some of my other videos. And please leave a comment with anything you would like to see on my channel in the future. Thanks and goodbye.